system developing in the Rockies will keep those rain chances in Arkansas. Some of the rain could be accompanied by severe thunderstorms with large hail and damaging winds. We'll have your forecast. Your forecast for us for Little Rock, a shower possible this evening and a few showers possible toward dawn. We're going to start your Friday in the mid-60s. KARK 4 News at 5 starts right now. Now, from the station you count on for local news that matters, this is KARK 4 News at 5 in high definition. In the past hour, the Arkansas Supreme Court paving the way for one of tonight's executions. Liddell Lee's execution is set to happen in about two hours. For now, Stacy Johnson's execution is still on hold. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ashley Katz. Hey, I'm Bob Clausen and Ashley, just like Tuesday night, we're coming to you live from the Cummins unit here. This is home, of course, to Arkansas's death chamber. That's where the similarities basically end, because unlike Tuesday night, there are two men in cells adjacent to the death chamber, as you mentioned, Stacey Johnson and Liddell Lee. So at this point forward, it looks, as you mentioned, too, that we are on track for an execution at 7 o'clock. But then again, throughout the last day and perhaps throughout the evening, we will see a flurry of perhaps last-minute filings that could hold things up. We've got team coverage for you tonight trying to bring all of this together. We are live with insight from Marcy Manley in Little Rock. We are live here on Cummins Prison with the very latest on what we'll be developing throughout the evening. We are also live in Washington, D.C. Drew Petromo keeping an eye on the United States Supreme Court and anything that should happen up there. But first, we want to bring in Marcy Manley. And Marcy, we talked about some last-minute maneuvering, some last-minute decisions. Where does that bring us right now? and into the evening. Bob, at this point, Liddell Lee is facing execution tonight while Johnson's death has been delayed by the Arkansas Supreme Court. Late this afternoon, the Arkansas justices eliminated another legal hurdle the state had faced by lifting an injunction that barred ADC from using one of those execution drugs. The drug company claimed the Department of Correction duped a sales rep into selling the drug without disclosing it would be used for an execution. A judge granted the injunction, which would have blocked all Arkansas executions, but the Supreme Court lifted that. Death row inmate Stacy Johnson has been issued a stay of execution. Just moments ago, the Supreme Court um, actually said that it would not reconsider that and leave it in place until he has had a chance to have a hearing on DNA testing. At this point, Liddell Lee does not have anything blocking his execution. We've been updating those dockets to see if there are any changes because Lee does currently have several cases pending in state and federal courts that remain unresolved with two hours until that first scheduled execution. Based on our experiences from Monday, there's plenty of time for all of this to change. Now, KARK's Drew Petromo is following developments in the nation's capital. Drew, what implications could the U.S. Supreme Court have for these death row inmates? Well, you talked about there still being time for things to change, and that's certainly the case here in Washington. One of the issues on the table of the Supreme Court involves a petition from inmates. They are asking the justices to reconsider uh, a stay that was first put in place by a federal judge in Arkansas. That stay was eventually lifted by the uh, Court of Appeals, but the inmates are asking the Supreme Court to consider reinstituting that stay. We're also waiting to hear about a next move possibly from the drug supplier. You just talked about it. The drug supplier says uh, it's drugs that are going to be used in the lethal injection protocol were acquired improperly. Uh, that the, Their case so far was uh, lifted by the state Supreme Court question. Now, will they appeal that to the U.S. Supreme Court as something we will be waiting and watching for leading up to this scheduled execution? That's the latest here live in Washington, D.C. I'm Drew Petromo. Bob, back to you. All right, Drew, thanks a lot. Uh, so uh, still uh, things are, I guess you could say, early on as far as this goes. Stephanie Sharp joining me now. We've been talking about what may or may not happen involving the condemned men uh, tonight. But up front, we've got to talk about why we're here, and that's the loss of life. Two women were uh, put to death or were murdered brutally in fashion, which is why the guys are here. Uh, you got to talk about the families. They've been waiting for justice for over 20 years now. Yeah, they really are. I mean, a lot of our attention is drawn to the suspects. But of course, we want to talk about the victim and the victim's families and all of this. Liddell Lee killed 26-year-old Deborah Reese in her Jacksonville home in 1993. And prosecutors say Lee hit her 36 times with a tire thumper. Reese's son was only six years old at the time. He says his loss still affects him every day. He is the embodiment of the evil that should never have to exist in this world. 
Prosecutors say Lee committed violent crimes against five women. His victims' ages range from 17 to 70. And as for Stacey Johnson, he's convicted of violently, violently killing Carol Heath in 1993 in DeQueen. He beat, strangled, and slit Heath's throat while two children hid in the home. After the long legal battle, the victim's family just wants a resolution. This has been the hardest thing I've ever had to go through my whole entire life. We all want an end. His son that you saw right there has grown up without a mother. The family just wants Johnson to admit to his crimes. Steph, the, uh, the families are given the opportunity to come down here and witness executions. Do you know if they'll be in attendance tonight? Yeah, we were told by the Department of Corrections that both families are have planned to come here tonight, and they will be here tonight uh, regardless of what executions go through. It seems like uh, this is a big piece of closure, but it seems after 20 years, uh, a lot of them, some of them think that maybe this day never was going to come, but it appears, at least for one of them, it may happen. It does appear that way, and of course, you know, these victim families, they've been waiting for this for, for a long time, and it's been a hard, you know, couple decades for them. But we have seen from Tuesday, things can change. Stephanie Sharp, thanks very much. Uh, one thing, though, also a lot of taxpayers say is how much is this costing us? How much does it cost to actually keep people on death row leading up to these executions that basically take decades to get to? Arkansas Department of Correction estimated it costs about $67 a day to house a death row inmate. Breaking that down, the cost for the eight inmates whose executions are or were set for this month, the most pricey prisoner in that group is Bruce Ward, who was here Tuesday, who did not get executed. The state has spent more than $600,000 keeping him on death row since he was first placed here in 1990. Looking at the other inmates, the state has spent more than half a million dollars to house Stacey Johnson, who is here this evening. The parole board recommended clemency for Jason McGee, his stay costing the state $450,000. As of today, their time behind bars comes in $4.2 million price tag. That, of course, to taxpayers. But, you know, when it comes to the cost, Ashley, the, the victim's families will say the cost is time. They lost loved ones so many years ago, and they say that these inmates have been able to basically keep breathing while their loved ones had all the time uh, stolen from the last 20 years. So we wait and see. We know that things could change at any minute, and that's, of course, why we've got Marcy Manley so steadfast standing by to watch any late-breaking developments. All right, and we also have a crew inside, Bob. Have you heard from them about a last meal for the inmates or at least for Liddell Lee at this point? Haven't heard anything from them. They just got in there. They check in, and they've got to make sure they've got everything in place so they can keep us up to date on what's happening inside and then translate that to us. But we haven't heard anything about a last meal just yet. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Bob. And we do want to wrap this up for you. The two men originally scheduled to be executed tonight, you see them here, Liddell Lee and Stacey Johnson. Johnson murdered Carol Heath at her home in DeQueen in April of 1992. Lee was convicted in 1993 of murdering his neighbor. Donna Reese. That happened in Jacksonville. Liddell's Lee's execution will still go on as planned tonight. You heard Marcy explain there is nothing standing in the way of his execution. However, Stacy Johnson's is on hold. And tonight after KARK 4 News at 6, we will continue our coverage online as Arkansas moves forward with Lee's execution. You can watch our live reports. We'll also have analysis for you on ArkansasMatters.com. Also on our Facebook page. That all starts at 630. A Central Arkansas bank robbed and coming up we'll tell you where they found the alleged robber. Plus an SUV slams into a church daycare injuring a child. It comes after police say the driver led them on a high speed chase. We'll tell you what led up to the crash. I am uh, a little afraid of spiders, I'll admit it. Uh, so moving in an eight foot tarantula was a feat on its own. It did give me one nightmare. And later, bugs invade the Clinton Library. But don't worry, it's all part of a new exhibit. We'll take a look inside this family fun-filled display. Another very warm and rather humid day across Arkansas today. Here in Little Rock, we started at 63 up to 83 this afternoon, just after 2 o'clock. No rainfall in the rain gauge yet, but we do have quite a bit on the way. And speaking of what else is on the way, isolated swatting. Looks like the mosquitoes are going to be sticking around for a little while longer. Your forecast is straight ahead. From the station that brings you local news that matters, this is KARK 4 News at 5 with Bob Clausen, Ashley Katz, and Chief Meteorologist Keith Monahan.
Watch KARK4 News weeknights with Bob Kloss and Ashley Katz and Keith Monahan. 20% off is back at the giant Crane Buick GMC in Conway. Cars, trucks, and SUVs discounted up to 20% off. That means right now, new GMC Sierras are discounted up to $13,000 off. Terrains are just $20,995, and new Buick Veranos are just $19,995. You'll get the Crane commitment, including our love it or leave it exchange policy, and ask about sales tax paid. 20% off won't last long. Nobody beats the giant Crane Buick GMC on Amity Road in Conway. We believe when you're treated right, you feel welcome to be yourself. So feel free to get swept away. At Isle of Capri Casino, feel free to feel free. Win your share of $20,000 during the Lucky Duck giveaway. Pick the Lucky Duck and you could win up to $500 in fan play. Drawings held Saturdays in April starting April 8th at 4, 6, and 8 p.m. Get one free entry daily, only at Isle of Capri Lula. Come on. Can you believe this, cable guy? I took the day off for this. That's it. I give up. I'm taking a shower. No, go, no, go, 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 go. Oh, my goodness, I'm here. Seriously? An entire day wasted for this. I hear you. Now let's change that. Yes. Stop waiting for the cable guy. Switch to Dish and get reliable 75-minute arrival windows. Dish, tuned in to you. Why did we design the XT Enduro Series to deliver strength, versatility, and the industry's leading warranty? Because the reason you do all of this is so you can do more of this. This is Strongsville, and this is where it starts, at your locally owned Cub Cadet dealer, where you can find expert service, advice, and $100 off select XT models for a limited time. To find a locally owned dealer near you, visit CubCadetDealers.com. Combine the history and passion for America's best-selling brand with a name that's been serving Arkansas since 1921. And you get Mark McClarty Ford with legendary low prices on one of the largest selections in the state right now. Get a brand new F-150 for the legendary low price of just $29.9. And new escapes for just $17,980. For history, passion, expertise. Mark McClarty knows Ford. North Little Rock and MarkMcClartyFord.com. Watch KARK4 today, tomorrow morning from 4 to 7. Now, from KARK4, your weather authority, Arkansas's certified most accurate forecast with Chief Meteorologist Keith Monahan. Well, most of Arkansas, well ahead of a, an approaching cold front that will be bringing some changes to the forecast. Now, there have been a few showers and thunderstorms across the northwest part of the state. That is what has held those temperatures down a little bit. It's only 63 at Fayetteville, 68 at Harrison. Meanwhile, in places that haven't seen any rain or any significant rain, mainly in the upper 70s to the mid 80s, right here in the capital city, we've got 82 degrees. Down at Magic Springs, 82 degrees as well. Dew points in the mid 80s, uh, mid 60s, I should say, gives us a heat index of 83 degrees. Southwest winds at 14. And the barometer, 29.98, and it is currently falling with a storm system approaching from the north and west. Now, again, a couple of showers have been occurring over far northern Arkansas throughout the day today. It's pretty much what we talked about yesterday. The first of two cold fronts beginning to drop southward through southern parts of Kansas as well as into southern Missouri. It looks like showers and thunderstorms are going to be a pretty good bet across the northern part of the state as we head through the nighttime hours of night. At the same time, we still do have high pressure over the southeast U.S. ushering in southeasterly winds, and that means we're going to continue to see moisture coming out of the western Gulf. That's going to be the fuel for the showers and thunderstorms as we head through the next 24 to 36 hours. Now, let's put our maps into motion and show you what's going to be going on. Number one, showers and thunderstorms will become more widespread later tonight through much of the day tomorrow, especially along and north of Interstate 40. I think south of 40, places like Monticello, down to Pine Bluff, the Camden area, El Dorado, cross it, your rain chances tomorrow, about 30%. Central Arkansas, about 40%. Showers and thunderstorms will be likely across the northern tier of counties pretty much at any point during the day tomorrow. Then we're going to watch the main storm system coming out of the Rockies across the plains for a little bit later on tomorrow night. We are expecting a line of strong to severe thunderstorms to develop across eastern Oklahoma or far west Arkansas by about sunset tomorrow. 
by about 10 o'clock, those strong thunderstorms will be making their way into central Arkansas. They will be on a weakening trend, but still probably strong enough to give us a couple of severe thunderstorm possibilities as we head through the first part of tonight. Though I should say tomorrow night. Those thunderstorms will quickly move east, and although we're going to be uh, on the backside of a cold front during much of the day on Saturday, there's going to be plenty of wraparound moisture. I think we're going to see more clouds than sun. It's going to be windy, much colder, even the possibility of a couple of showers. We won't clear skies out until Saturday night when Canadian high pressure coming through the Rockies heads into Arkansas, but that's going to set the stage for a nice end to the weekend and start to the work week. As far as the severe weather threat for tomorrow, this will be late tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night. Slight risk for much of central into southeastern Arkansas. The orange area indicates where there's an enhanced risk across much of western Arkansas. And I think at this point, the biggest threat is going to be large hail and damaging winds, although you can never rule out an isolated tornado. Everything, though, should be wrapping up just after midnight Saturday morning. In Little Rock tonight, one and three shot at a shower toward dawn. Lows in the mid-60s for your day on Friday. It'll be mostly cloudy, 40% chance of thunderstorms with a high of 76. Your weather impact number, well, we're going to bump that up to a 7, but that's going to be for Friday evening and Friday night for the potential for heavy rainfall as well as the possibility of large hail and damaging winds with some of the stronger thunderstorms. A 2 on Saturday because although we're going to see the bulk of the precipitation gone, it's not going to be the best day to head outside and take pictures. 30% chance of showers Saturday, windy and cooler, 64 degrees around 70 Sunday, and back into the 70s and 80s next week. Stick around. We'll be right back. KARK4 News is sponsored by Red River Ram Dodge Chrysler Jeep Fiat. What's happening? That feeling, only better. Turbo. Standard in a 170 horsepower, fun to drive Volkswagen Passat. Hurry in and lease this 2017 Passat S for just $189 a month. Visit VWDealer.com today. The savings place is Hanks. Hanks is the only place where you can get this traditional cherry five piece bedroom set for just $6.99. And this upholstered headboard storage bed five-piece suit, only $9.99. And this solid wood rustic five-piece suit, just $11.99. And get interest-free financing. The quality and savings place is Hank's Fine Furniture. You guys need new floors. You need to get to Akel's Carpet One. You'll find the biggest selection, the best prices, and our famous guarantees. We'll take care of you. Including paying your sales tax. That's right. Buy any floor and we'll pay the sales tax for you. Carpet, hardwood, laminate, ceramic, all on sale now. With the sales tax paid, you'll save hundreds of dollars. Special no interest financing, too. The sales tax paid sale. At Akel's Carpet One. We make it beautiful. For less. You never close. At Oaklawn Gaming in Hot Springs, we're in for great concerts. Are you in? Friday, May 12th at the Finish Line Theater, Oaklawn presents The Righteous Brothers, one of the greatest rock duos of all time. Tickets on sale April 25th. The Righteous Brothers, Bill Medley and Bucky Hurd in concert at Oaklawn. Don't miss it. Must be 21. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-522-4700. Professional and helpful, awesome experience, outstanding customer service. Those aren't our words, they're our customers. At Lander Chevrolet, give us an opportunity and we'll deliver the experience you deserve. Buy with confidence with our Lander Chevrolet promise. A price match guarantee, three-day love it or leave it return policy, and two years complimentary maintenance. Right now, get the 2017 Chevrolet Silverado up to $15,000. Find your roads at LanderChevrolet.com, home of the Lander Chevrolet promise. You're watching KARK4, Arkansas's most awarded news station. Law enforcement arrest a man who they say robbed a bank in South Pulaski County. According to the sheriff's office, the heist happened in the landmark community at Simmons Bank on Arch Street Pike. Deputies say the suspect came in wearing a motorcycle helmet. He showed a firearm and demanded money. The suspect was captured a short time later, not far from the bank. A 21-year-old is in jail after police say she crashed a stolen SUV into a church daycare, injuring a 4-year-old. It happened at the corner of Springer and Roosevelt in Little Rock. KRK's Charmaine Nero speaks with some people who saw this happen and also police about what exactly happened. 
Exactly, Ashley. Now, witnesses tell me they heard a huge bang and almost immediately after, loud screams. They say they were shocked when they realized a child was pinned underneath a truck after it sped into the back of a nearby church. A pile of debris and a board placed at the edge of the House of Bethesda Christian Faith Church. Walked over there to the church and saw what looked like um, the back of the warehouse had been blown up in some kind of explosion or something like that. An SUV crashed into a church daycare on the corner of Springer and Roosevelt in Little Rock. Almost shook the ground. It was so, so loud. Little Rock police say 21-year-old Shantae Burton was behind the wheel of a Chevy Tahoe. That was reported stolen around 7.30 Wednesday morning. A short time later, officers found the Tahoe driving down Roosevelt Avenue near MLK. Before the driver pulled over, dropped off a passenger and sped off. It goes back east on Roosevelt at a high rate of speed. The officer uh, engages in a pursuit at that point and activates all her emergency equipment. Officer Steve Moore says they stopped chasing Burton after they lost sight of the SUV. A call comes in to dispatch of, of an accident involving a vehicle running into a daycare or a church. Police say a four-year-old from the daycare was pinned under the truck. At least six other children were inside. You know, when I saw one of the boys run out that had a scrape on his head with just blood all over his face and just, uh, you know, hoping that there were no fatalities. Now, we're told the four-year-old did have bone fractures, but is expected to be okay. Burton faces charges of fleeing, careless driving, theft by receiving, and failure to stop after an accident with injury. Ashley, back to you. All right, Charmaine, thanks very much. Bugs, oh my, we're going to take you inside a new exhibit at the Clinton Library. It's fun for all ages. We'll tell you all about these creepy crawlers next. KARK4 News is sponsored by Magic Springs Theme and Water Park. Clio's spring cleaning event is going on now. Many items marked below dealer's cost. Floor models, one of a kinds, and overstock have been reduced below dealer's cost during Clio's spring cleaning event. Hurry into Clio's today for the very best selection. From the moment you see it, it commands your respect. You can feel its immense power. The only way to master it is to venture inside. Go ahead, dive in. The GMC Sierra. We are professional grade. Get 16% below MSRP on select 2017 Sierra 1500 crew cab vehicles in stock. That's over $9,000 on this Sierra. See your Arkansas Select View with GMC dealer. Uh. Exactness. Inspiration. At GMC, we're in tune with that degree of precision. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the GMC Acadia. The next generation SUV has arrived. Get 16% below MSRP on select 2017 Acadia vehicles in stock. That's over $7,600 on this Acadia Denali. See your Arkansas Select Buick GMC dealer. Buy your furniture below dealer's cost now during Clio's spring cleaning event. Mattresses, sofas, accessories, and much more have been reduced for immediate liquidation during Clio's spring cleaning event. For the very best selection, hurry into Clio's furniture today. This job allows me to see people sometimes at their most vulnerable. But time and time again, you see them move forward. If there's nothing else I've learned from this business, it's the ability of people to bounce back. It is something remarkable to behold. 2017 Grammy nominee Celtic Woman, live in concert. Experience the best of Ireland, the pipes, the drums, dance, and song. Experience Celtic Woman. Visit CelticWoman.com for tickets. This is KARK 4 News at 5 in high definition. Grasshoppers, spiders, and ladybugs have all found their ways inside the walls of the Clinton Library. KRK Force Aaron Nolan got a sneak peek behind this newest exhibit in this Only in Arkansas report. 
Hey guys, you know, this is one of my favorite spots in downtown Little Rock. Such a beautiful view here from the steps of the Clinton Presidential Center. Ever so often, they have traveling exhibits that come here to the library. A few months ago, it was the Beatles. All about the British invasion. For this summer, it's an invasion of another sort. Say hello to some giant bugs. Extreme bugs are going to be marching, crawling, uh, flying into the Clinton Center. Extreme bugs spans across two different galleries with 20 animatronic bugs. They move and make noise. Set in their naturalistic settings, you're going to feel like you're walking in a forest floor. These pests are big enough for a president. He's so interested in bugs. President Bill Clinton will be in town Friday to help open the exhibit, and that doesn't happen for every exhibit. So why does the former commander-in-chief take such an interest in insects? Well, thanks to the research of Pulitzer Prize biologist E.O. Wilson, Clinton now has a fascination for the humanistic way bugs come together. The greatest cooperators are uh, ants, termites, bees, humans, chimpanzees, and it's because they're cooperators and they work together. So that's why President Clinton's most interested in this topic. Uh, he talks about ants and bees all the time. An exhibit that's larger than life while making you feel smaller than normal. Lessons and learning with extreme bugs. It's going to be at the Clinton Center until July. In Little Rock, I'm Aaron Nolan. Oh boy, it opens this weekend. You can check it out with an admission into the library. If you want to learn more, go to our website, ArkansasMatters.com. Well, we've got some rain moving toward the natural state. Chief Keith will tell us what we can expect as we head into the end of the work week next. The Skeeter Meter is sponsored by Mosquito Joe of Arkansas. Clio's spring cleaning event is going on now. Many items marked below dealer's cost. Floor models, one of a kind and overstock, have been reduced below dealer's cost during Clio's spring cleaning event. Hurry into Clio's today for the very best selection. Springtime is a great time for great deals at Landers Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Benton. That's right, Keith, and it's time for our annual spring clearance sales event. And with this great weather, why not get yourself into a new vehicle and enjoy the days ahead? How about select light-duty Ram trucks up to 20% off? All Chrysler Pacificas up to $5,500 off. Enjoy the fresh air in a Jeep Wrangler up to $4,000 off. Drive off with a great deal during the spring clearance sales event only at Landers Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Benton. for 79 cents a pound and Vidalia onions are 49 cents a pound. This spring, your world is about to be turned upside down. Never before in our history has such awe-inspiring, imagination-expanding, gravity-defying talent ever assembled for one event. Silver Dollar City presents the Festival of Wonder, a brand new once-in-a-lifetime spectacular you and your loved ones can't possibly fathom. Unless you're there. The Festival of Wonder, a most amazing, entertaining experience, only at Silver Dollar City. People are talking about the new Buick. With four fresh new models to choose from. And what are they saying? The new Buick is so cute. I love the new Buick. That's a new one? Sweet Buick. Experience the new, new Buick. Get 16% below MSRP on select 2017 Buick SUVs in stock. That's over 4400 on this Encore. See your Arkansas Select Buick GMC dealer. Buy your furniture below dealer's cost now during Clio's spring cleaning event. Mattresses, sofas, accessories, and much more have been reduced for immediate liquidation during Clio's spring cleaning event. For the very best selection, hurry into Clio's furniture today. This is KARK 4 News at 5 in high definition. 
Well, before we go, we want to check in with Keith. We've got some rain moving into the state. Yeah, we're going to see some showers late tonight and a 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. Friday night, thunderstorms are likely. Some of those strong to severe, large hail damaging winds will be possible. Lingering wraparound showers on Saturday, but breezy, we'll call it windy and much cooler. We dry it out and clear it out for Sunday with highs around 70, warming back up to the 80s as we head into next week before our next chance of rain Wednesday and Thursday. All right, Keith, thanks very much. And we now want to update you on the execution that is scheduled to happen at 7 o'clock tonight. That is Liddell Lee, the inmate who is at the Cummins unit right now. We have a crew inside that building you're looking at there. They're in a media room set up, and we should get an update from the Arkansas Department of Correction at 530. We will have those for you on our social media sites and also coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. And then after our 6 o'clock newscast, we hope you'll join us online. We'll be live streaming our coverage leading up to 7 o'clock tonight. You can join us on ArkansasMatters.com or our Facebook page. We'll see you tonight at 6. talking about the new Buick with four fresh new models to choose from. And what do they say? The new Buick is so cute. Love the new Buick. That's a Buick? Sweet Buick. Experience the new, new Buick. Get 16% below MSRP on select 2017 Buick SUVs in stock. That's over 4,400 on this Encore. See your Arkansas Select Buick GMC dealer. These little chickies and little doggies are small, but they're intense. Oh, yeah, small but intense, like my niece Hannah. Oh, yeah. And you uh, take karate? Yes, she does. Show them how intense you are, Hannah. Yeah, yeah! Ah! Oh, my God. Hey! Yes. Now finish him. Bow to her, Peter. I'm gonna bow to it. Bow to her, Peter. Big flavor in a little package. New little chickies and little doggies. And get half-priced cheeseburgers every Tuesday on Family Night. This is how you Sonic. We came to Arvest Bank to see what makes it different. The best part of banking at Arvest for me is the personal attention. They're like my financial counselors through all of this. I was able to call her anytime I needed. I enjoy them and I love them and they're like family to me. You can't get through the door without somebody saying hello. I've tried. They made me feel at home. Like a house you walk into, you feel like you can put your feet up on the furniture. Have you ever actually put your feet up on the furniture? Uh, no, I haven't. Arvest Bank. Our customers say it best. 20% off is back at the giant Crane Buick GMC in Conway. Cars, trucks, and SUVs discounted up to 20% off. That means right now, new G